ओके गाइस सो वेलकम टू मोहित एग्रीकल्चर ट्यूटोरियल्स माय नेम इज मोहित गुप्ता एंड टुडे अगेन अ न्यू सेट ऑफ वीडियो न्यू वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सेंटर डोगमा ऑफ लाइफ सो लेट्स फर्स्ट रिवाइज व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड द ईयर ओके सो वी हैव स्टडीड दैट देयर इज अ डीएनए दैट इज इन द होस्ट राइट एंटी पैरेलल सीरीज लाइक दिस हेलिक्स it is in the host that is nucleus of the cell now nucleus of the cell is somewhat positive in charge so that this negative helix should be comfortable over there and stable it should occupy this space right and we have studied that once this helix is comfortable some enzyme used to work at it that we call somewhat polymerase helix helicase and primes some enzyme used to work and they used to give they used to uh, we can say they used to give a copy right they used to give birth to a copy of dna that uh, usually we call a replica right now once this replica is generated this replica is generated lots of variable processes are there through which the replica is once generated once this replica is generated this re replica tend to come out of the cell of the nucleus and it needs to give rise to protein now why protein is needed i have mentioned this cause earlier also protein is somewhat we can say tertiary quaternary structure like this now why this structure is you should look at the biochemistry lectures in my channel somewhat i have told mentioned these things also over there so it is somewhat quaternary structure and why this protein is needed for the cell cell needs to achieve its stability cell needs to give rise to its we can say maintain its identity to maintain its identity into itself and into the daughter cell it needs somewhat protein that is quaternary structure of the protein. so once this protein is generated it will cause somewhat chemical modifications in the cell that would lead to cell to we can say express itself right once cell expresses itself now this protein is of no use because this protein is used by the cell to express itself now let's talk about certain exceptions if this replication process is not particularly performed correctly if this copy of the dna is not particularly performed correctly then it will lead to we can say a problem for the cell it may lead to mutations mutations in the mean of if a single nucleotide base pair is missing deleting or adding at this position or we can say what during replication a single single if we say that a single single if we can say that the invader right invader is the correct word if the single single invader nucleotide has attacked this dna helix and somewhat its conformation is changed then this dna would lead to mutations now let's talk about what kind of mutation it would lead to to understand it we must uh, understand a process known as uh, reverse transcriptase right i have mentioned about it earlier also uh, retrovirus this rau sarcoma virus that causes cancer right cancer of sarcoma virus we also call that so that virus usually tend to work at the position of replication when the dna is replicating it, what it does is it usually converts its genetic material that it call as rna now this is rna so now it tend to convert this rna into what into dna now into dna but this process needs to be somewhat beneficial right now how this process is related with the mutation that a stock mode that not every time the single process is taking place in the cell that rna to dna but it is somewhat modified also sometimes the modification is what 
this RNA tend to be converted into DNA, but sometimes it tend to be converted into or transplanted into the host DNA. Say what? Say this is the host DNA. If this is the host DNA. Somewhat it is having its enzymatic actions over there that may cleave host DNA somewhat from single base pair and a single allele, a single allele if to be added somewhat say adenine and thymine it got added in this position. Now once this base pair got added in this position it mutated somewhat what the DNA of the host cell and once this DNA got mutated this may lead to malfunctions. Malfunctions in the mean of mutations. Now this mutation may lead to cause somewhat death of person, somewhat genetic diseases, somewhat uh, diseases like cancer, tuberculosis. These all diseases are due to the somewhat this type of modifications in the DNA during replication process attack of an invader RNA that is not host, that is not friendly to our cell that is causing death and once this DNA strand is created what which is mutated then series of processes are there mitosis meiosis this may lead to upcoming generation to get infected to get invaded by such a mutation and if this mutation leads to leads to in the reproductive germ cells then the upcoming generation would may lead because if we try to uh, plot here the progenies, we get four progeny. One will be particularly dominant, one will be particularly recessive. Now what will happen? Somewhat maybe dominant may have that allele, may recessive that may have that allele. Never heterozygous will never having the allele activated in their gene. You know why? Because heterozygous is having both the alleles and it is turned to set as carrier till in the board dominant case will be not there or recessive pure recessive case will be not there then we will not tend to say that the mutation will lead in the individual in the progeny right so this is one of the uh, example if the replication have not taken place properly if the replication is not performed properly somewhat editing problems during editing uh, polyadenine polygonine tails uh, whatever sir. So during that process, if a single single mistake is there in the DNA, that will lead to malfunction of the DNA processes. The whole center dogma process will be inhibited and it may lead to somewhat protein that would not get particularly folded in things. So because if you try to grasp my lecture of biochemistry proteins, I have told that uh, amino acids are somewhat linear chains. We call it primary, then secondary, then tertiary, then quaternary structure. Once this structure is not achieved, that is primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary, then we cannot say that, uh, what say, protein is somewhat working in the cell to uh, to guide the cell how, uh, how to achieve its characteristic, right? So this protein is somewhat malfunctioned during the process of replication only we need to, uh, we need to see that during the process of replication is the first step of this uh, protein to not correctly fold during uh, after the center dogma completely performed right so now let's talk about today's fresh topic this is the topic of revision now let's talk about today's fresh topic that is we'll talk about transcription in prokaryotes prokaryotes means microbes right how in viruses in bacteria how does the transcription takes place, right? Okay. Okay, guys. So let's start now. Now our newly topic that is called transcription. Right? What is the topic? Transcription. Especially, we will talk about transcription in prokaryotes. That is microorganism. How they uh, tend to create uh, RNA from the DNA and what kind of uh, RNA is that right it is mRNA tRNA or some else. so we will talk about this in somewhat detail right now if you know about uh, the DNA 
DNA is somewhat super helical. Let me draw this DNA. First, is super helical. Both helix will be in another color so that you can recognize it properly. Okay, so this is somewhat uh, DNA, what we say, right? Now, this DNA has three phases of this process transcription. Three phases. The very first phase is we say it. Initiation. What happens in initiation? We'll talk later. But for for now, uh, you have to understand. Process known as initiation is the starting of transcription. Certain enzymes they bind to this DNA and they elongate it. So second is elongation. Once it gets elongated, it will be the we can say end of the termination. So termination of the process. So initiation, elongation, and termination. There are three processes working step by step. A wide variety of enzymes are working over here. But when we talk about prokaryotes, prokaryotes has, we can say, a restricted area of enzymes. That within this area only the enzymes will work. So it doesn't have that much that that much variety of enzyme, right? So. This is the whole process in three. We have three steps. We have divided the process, and when we will talk about transcription, you will you will understand that how these three steps are organized. How these three steps are working step by step. Right. Okay. So let's go now. Right. So. Very firstly, you should understand the prokaryotic DNA in which form it is found in the cell. Look, prokaryotic DNA is having somewhat ends that are to be, we can say, uncapped ends. So it makes somewhat plasmid. Now let's don't consider that plasmid. We consider it as a straight set of DNA. Now let's call it a, uh, we can say, promoter area in the DNA. How this promoter area works in prokaryotes, we need to know that, right? So, in the promoter area, we have three positions, three points, which need to be recognized very, very well, or else this whole function of the DNA would not be understood properly, right? Step by step, I'm going to tell you about that. Now, initiation for initiation, it needs three of the segments of DNA to be intended or we can say to be in the DNA that the polymerase used to recognize. We will talk about polymerase little, we will take time to talk about that, right? So firstly, I am telling you about the characteristic of the DNA, how it works. Now this area we call UP element, UP element. Right, so this UP element is somewhat. It is having its behavior of increasing the processivity of DNA transcription. This area we call somewhat, somewhat what we call it, ten area. Now this ten area is also very very, uh, we can say, helping to what to. The whole transcription process. The third area we have is 35 area. Gene 35 we call it. Loci or allele 35. Right? Allele 35 is the correct. Allele 10, allele 35. So we have a 35 area. Allele 35 working over here. We have a discriminator that once the enzyme, particular enzyme, when it binds to this discriminator, this will lead to the termination of tra what transcription, right? So, discriminator. So, this is all what is the DNA. Now, let's talk about the certain characteristics. This minus 10 area is somewhat very, very beneficial because it provides the energy to DNA to unwind. Now this is the position, this is the loci, this is the allele, 
that usually starts the unwinding as polymerase binds to it. It doesn't need any, you can say like primers we talk about in replication. They need, the polymerase need over their primers, Okazaki fragments. So primase is working over there. But over here, there is no single enzyme working for the primers. So enzyme that is only solely working over here is somewhat RNA polymerase. Who is having its ability to just create the polymer, that is the RNA polymer containing multi, we can say polyuridine, right? <coughs> polyuridine. Polyuridine, right? Polyuridine is somewhat, uh, we can say, the modification in the thymine structure only, but it is only found in what? It is found in only RNA, right? So, this is what is so minus 10 area provides energy for the transcription in prokaryotes. This minus 35 area, this is somewhat uh, the binding area of the polymerase where it usually binds to, right? So, this is what is the whole criteria of functioning. And polyuridine is found it is in the form of UTP, DUTP. It is, uh, we can say, what. Uh, Polymerase needed it, needs it, right? If polymerase needs it, so DUTP, DDUTP will be transferred and the, the, this is a big set of uracil, right? Uracil, uh, we can say, nucleotide base pair of what? Of the DNA, the sort. Now, uh, RNA do not need any phosphate bone. It only needs somewhat sugar, right? Ribose sugar. So we'll talk about that in later on, then we'll talk about Translation, then we'll talk about somewhat RNA structure in brief, but at this time we'll understand that what is the process of this, what transcription is prokaryotes, right? Oh, so let's understand the quality of what polymerase, what quality does polymerase have? Now let's see, this is the polymerase, DNA polymerase. Remember uh, in the replication video what we have given identity to polymerase is like hand group, right? That one was having a beta sheet in the center, so we call it a hand group, like a hand. But this polymerase is somewhat different because these are ribbon-like structure, we are not uh, readily memorized, we, we do not readily know about their structure. but Somewhat we know that these ribbons make a structure like we can say a crab claw. Crab claw, right? So this structure is like crab claw. I should not write this, but okay. Remember to make notes, okay? So right. So this is the certain points that we recognize in the this position, right? So it is having pincers. What beta and beta slash pincers? What their beta sheet was there? We are having over here. What beta and beta slash pincers? Pincers is somewhat like eye, right? So here are the two eyes, and this is somewhat crab claw, right? It just contracts when it attaches to the DNA. Now let's talk about how it works. This whole area of the polymerase contains somewhat uh, promoter regions which usually binds to the DNA that positions we have talked about earlier also. So this is divided into especially 10 sets. 10 sets. 1, sorry, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. For uh, this time, we'll consider as 10 units. Now, some units are specialized to contract with the minus 10, right? Some units are going to contract with minus 35 region, and some are going to contract with uh, UP element. Let's see how. So, this contractility of these enzymes is somewhat. Uh, necessary for the transcription process. See how 
the gene that we have is say minus 10 region we are taking here as a 3 region how it contracts so say what this is the minus 3 region this is the minus 3 region right this is the minus 3 region I'll talk, uh, I'll talk about this also what I am making so it is something like this so we say that these are the base pairs that we have made what type of base pair thymine adenine thymine and this is cytosine guanine cytosine guanine right now a position in polymerase should be like that should be intended like that so that it should attach to this type of position like a teeth coming out of the jaw we can say like that now how to at attach particularly polymerase has certain centers that have somewhat a structural facility to these structures so that it can recognize them and stick to them in particularly tight manner right so enzymatic functions we have already read in biochemistry lock and key and facilitated there are many type of enzymatic contraction with the uh, with its substrate so this is one of them so once it has uh, coordinated properly once it has attached to it properly it will start doing the work so what the position that attracts with uh, contracts with what minus 10 reason it somewhat fits in its loops right and if we talk about minus 35 reason it is also somewhat that fits in the loop of this DNA segment. So this is what we have. Okay. Okay. So let's see how does this polymerase work. Yeah. One more thing to be remembered over here. One more thing to be remembered over here. That uh, the UP element, which area needs to bind to the UP element? This is also a thing. To be remembered. Okay, so we are talking about the UP element. Which area tends to bind to the UP element is somewhat say this is NTP area of the polymerase. It contains poly NTP. So it is NTP area of polymerase, and this area is intended with somewhat CTPs, and this UP is somewhat tend to uh, grab by the polymerase in the area of CTP. So the CTP used to bind to this UP element and start the transcription process in what detail, right? So this is all the criteria. Now let's talk about somewhat how does the RNA polymerase binds to the DNA and how it's uh, uh, how it maintains the identity of DNA in the RNA fragment. That is also a thing to be remembered, right? Okay. So, we intended to see that how the binding takes place. Now, see how the uh, we can say uh, transcription takes place, conversion of uh, DNA to RNA. This is somewhat going to be very, very, very beneficial this time right so you have a DNA somewhat like this you have a DNA right this is the DNA now once this polymerase recognizes the correct position where it should bind it usually binds to this position right once this polymerase and the whole enzyme the whole sigma whole enzyme is bound to this correct position where to the bind now this DNA, what it will do, it will have certain open pockets and it will have in two two base pairs like this finger type of projection, right? Finger type of projection from the DNA will be inserted into the polymerase. Now once these finger type of projections will be inserted to the polymerase, this polymerase will be stabilized now, right? Now this is very necessary for the whole grip of the polymerase. If this pincers, oh sorry. If this finger like a projection, the two nucleotide base pairs is not inserted into the uh, open pockets of what polymerase, then it may happen that polymerase grip would not be that strong over there and would not work. Right? So once it starts working, it will also work in the direction what? 
three prime to five prime and start working and it will create some our D, uh, RNA from each and every set of allele that it find is necessary for RNA fragment. So we say this is the RNA. Now once this RNA is created, once this RNA is created, now we need to somewhat modify this what RNA properly. And before modifying RNA, we need to modify this DNA because this DNA is somewhat in the effect of somewhat in the effect of this polymerase. So this polymerase is somewhat in uh, somewhat intending to distort it to get its uh, primers uh, for the RNA. Now this distortion would lead to somewhat mutated effects like this. Some uh, some of the base pair would. Uh, contain somewhat uh, will be in loop type, right? So this is somewhat mutation due to this polymerase binding. Now there is a uh, two type of uh, we can say editing. That is one is the idolytic editing and second is the phosphopolypeptidyl polypeptidyl editing, right? So these two editing are to be done over here to edit this. DNA and confirm its structure again and same editing will be done in RNA also to uh, make it somewhat non-mutated so that protein could certainly fold properly right so this is also one of the process criteria now once this uh, whole process of transcription is over RNA what RNA will be modified we will talk about later but this polymerase needs to unwind so that it could release this DNA now and another polymerase should come and bind to the another position. Now, to do this, we have talked about the discriminator position at uh, another end, UP this, so 5 prime to 3 prime, we call it 5 prime end to be UP element and 3 prime end to be what? We call it discriminator, discriminator element. So discriminator, we call it RUT element. And before that, you should understand one more thing, there are somewhat uh, mimic of RNA in DNA so uh, polymerase need to pass that mimic out of the DNA that is another process of we are talking about now that this is the polymerase and we are having our DNA to be inserted in it so we say this is the DNA if you find it this is the what DNA now DNA is having a region we call it as call it as R U T region, right? R U T region. So DNA is having a R U T region. Now, how we say it a discriminator because it is the position which uh, leads to the anti uh, transcription process. Right? Now there will be such somewhat uh, proteins. There will be hexameric ring-like proteins. Say this type of proteins that will have that have an intention to bind this RUT area so first they will bind at the back of this whole what say polymerase and once the binding is successful over here they will run 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 one by one step by step and they will at this position they, they will attach to RUT they will attach to RUT and once these uh, this attachment is done it will lead to both the polymerase both the polymerase and the dna to be uh, we can say what uh, to be uh, detached right to be detached from each other now this polymerase is again uh, a fresh new polymerase it will need some what editing and it will become Again, fresh new polymerase. Now, this is whole process of the transcription, how RNA is generated. Now, RNA too wants some EDT. And when we talk about eukaryotic uh, transcription process, we will describe that editing in detail. But for now, as we did in replication, it also need a polyadenine tail and polyguanine here, yeah. right? So this type of editing is there. Somewhat proteins, many proteins are working. We, we have just discussed sort of proteins many proteins are working so once the, that protein binds to the dna it will uh, conserve it by uh, somewhat editing its head area 
by polyguanine and thin area by polyadenine. So this is what is the whole process of uh, transcription. Okay, guys. So we end our video here. Uh, in next set of video, we'll talk about uh, what say say you you eukaryotic eukaryotic what transcription. We'll talk in detail. After that, once uh, this whole central dogma with operon, with operon, operon is a very regulation of transcription and translation. Once that all criteria will be over, I think four to five video more, then we will start our readily genetics. Then you will understand what is the necessity of genetics and how mutations take place and how all those uh, pro propaganda or those processes take place. So thank you and have a nice day.